Uh, good morning, I'm good. Thanks for coming in. Now, Jake, you have, uh, uh, you're, you're 15, right? Yes. And you have a rather unique, uh, I don't know if you call it a hobby or a sport. You're somewhat of a billiard aficionado, is that correct? Yes. So, <laughs> this is great, John, isn't it? It's unbelievable. So, so tell us, how, how long have you been playing pool? Um, I've been playing for about three years. Okay, and you're 15 now, right? So you started when you were 12. Yeah. And do you have a pool table at home? Yep. Okay. And and now, like like we were talking about this morning, um, um, my, I had a swim coach once years ago that told me that that if you want to be the best at your sport, uh, at your sport, don't have a car, a job, or a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, how often do you practice? Um, usually every day. Really? If I can, yeah. Okay. Um, and and you have uh, you have competed in or are going to compete in some tournaments coming up? Yeah, I am. Okay. So tell us some, tell us a little bit about what's coming up. Um, in March, in uh, March, I'm gonna be playing in the Variety Kid Peloton tournament at Five and Billiards in Buffalo. Okay. And then same exact um. I'm going to be playing in the Taylor Jr. Champions in Georgia. Oh, okay. Get to qualify for it. So how good are you? Um, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so so how did you get started with this? You didn't wake up one morning and said, I think I'll shoot pool, right? No. Okay. Yeah, I, I we were in um, this bar. If you know where Lindaville is. I know? do, yeah. The lake. Yeah. So it was this bar and they had a table in there and I was playing on the thing and I seemed, I actually kind of liked it a lot. So we decided to go get a pool table at our house, and there we are. So we're on. Let's, re let's rewind a little bit. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so, a 12-year-old says, I was at this bar in Lindenburg. <laughs> well, come on now. You, you have to ruin everything. We have a good thing going here. We were there for Big Friday. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there, there are some... You know, not everybody that goes into a bar well has to, uh, you know, be 21 and drink. Now, come on. Get all tuned up, right? So, you practice every day? Yep. All right. Um, and and uh, now, I have a bunch of questions because we have an uh, all-housing pool table out here in the barn, and which is a pretty decent table. Do you have a particular brand that you like? Or? Um, at our house, we have a table called the Brunswick Sport Change. Okay. Is that a good one? Yeah, it's decent. Is it? Okay. Is that what what size is that? Because I know the, uh, the the billiard tables like in in bars and restaurants and stuff are usually the the smaller version, right? Yeah. Do you have a big one or what? Um, our table is it's, it's four and a half by nine. Yeah. Nine by okay. Yeah. That's a standard uh, standard regulation. Yeah. Okay. Now I noticed I was watching. Uh, of course, you'd like to follow around, uh, follow along. Uh, Jake Jackson on on Facebook. There's a video of you playing, and I noticed you're wearing a glove. What, what's that about? I mean, is that... Um, when you're, when you're shooting stuff, because for me, my hands get really sweaty. Okay. I'm one of those kind of people, and I had to wear a glove, because the, the cue will, will stick in my fingers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do you use, like, rosin, too? I mean, is there a rosin thing? That, no? You don't no. Do? Okay. All right. Um, so the glove helps it not, you know, nice and smooth. Yeah. And whatever. Yeah. So all the cues... Stick dry. Oh, okay. All right. So, so all the cues that I have out in the barn are all warped and whatever. What, what, what kind of a cue do you use? Um, it's called um, a fire icon. I'm pretty sure it's icon four. Yeah. Like Is that. it wood or metal or? It, it's wood bought with a carbon fiber shaft. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. Now, does it come apart or is it just one? Yeah, it's a uh, two piece cue. Okay. So it comes apart. Now, in every tournament that you that you play in, you get to bring your own cue, right? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. So there's not like a tournament where you go and they hand out cues and stuff. No. It doesn't work that way. Okay. I mean, they they have raffles for cues. You can you can put tickets in there to get a cue on a raffle. So okay. we we just bring our cues there. Right. And your, your your cues are probably pretty straight, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the tips, the t half of the ones that, that I have out here, the tips are all busted up. Do you do your own tips and stuff, or do you? Um, my my dad installs tips and everything okay. for me, but I but if, if the tip gets flat or something, I'll I'll shape it back out. Right now, um, uh, I, I, chalk. Uh, to my knowledge, there's only one kind of chalk. Is that true, or is there a bunch of different kinds? Oh, there's, there's, different, there's different kinds of chalk. And 
some shops even cost us thirty dollars for two of them. It's really? They get really expensive. Just you know, the blue diamond shop. It's a little cheaper. It's about ten dollars for the two. Really? But it, it lasts a lot longer than your. So if you chalk up your queue. Um, this, this particular chalk sticks better or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. But you still have to re-chalk after every shot, or no? Um, I don't I, I don't re-chalk every shot, but a lot of people do. It's kind of like a routine. But you need to keep re-chalking every, every rack because if you don't if you don't chalk your cue, you're going to end up miss at some point. Okay. Right. Roger, do you, do you shoot pool as well? Yeah, I've played uh, over 20 years. I compete in some tournaments and I can... Uh, yeah, leagues and stuff like that. Now, can you beat you, Roger? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yep, I, I can't even come close anymore. <laughs> really? Now, this is all about angles and math, right? Um, or, yeah. or is it just you? I think kind of both, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how do you do in school? Pretty good? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Where, where do you go to school? In uh, Lindenville. Oh, okay. All right. Um... I would, Roger, like, like, I mean, let's get to the good stuff here, Jim. Okay. All right. Enough, enough with the talk, all right? Well, tell me, Roger, why don't you, like, take him around and have him shark some people? And make <laughs> <you know? laughs> we don't like getting beat up. <laughs> well, would you stop, please? No. <laughs> so, so, what are your, what are your plans for this? I mean... Uh, do you have the passion for this? I mean, um, is this like uh, the most fun thing you do in the day, or, or is this become like work? Um, it's it's kind of both, but pool is very it's very fun, you know. Okay. If we're not fishing, we're playing pool, you know. All right. <laughs> so, do you, so who do you fish with? Do your dad as well? Yep. There's lots of places around here to fish. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, do you know? Uh, you know who Willie Moscone is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, his his nickname was Mr. Pocket Billiards. He was he was pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know who Irving Crane was? Yeah. All right. You ever got a Yeah. Irving Crane, my brother's third grade teacher, was Mrs. Crane, his his wife. Oh. And, uh, you know, Irving Crane used to come into the classroom and stuff, and, wow. and my brother Bill would come home and say, hey, yes, I met Irving Crane today. And he was a Cadillac salesman at Valley Cadillac yeah. in Rochester. Um, and he, his, his nickname was The Deacon. Yep. All right. Right. And your nickname is... I love this. Jake the Snake Jackson. <laughs> now, who came up with that? Um, it was... It was Bert mostly who started calling Bert Van Ock who started yeah. calling it yeah. Jake the Snake Jackson. So is that going to be your permanent nickname, or are you maybe um, you'll change it? <laughs> we'll see. All right, that right, good. Now he's pretty, he's pretty, uh, uh, let's say mature for his age, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's actually the right answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at things as you go, you know, up and down the line and, and whatever. Uh, Irving Crane was. Um, uh, he, at 14 years old, he ran 89 balls in straight pool in a local pool room. Now, uh, where, where are you with that? How, how much? What's your what's your record on, um, on shooting straights and stuff? We don't really shoot very much straight pool, but currently my high run, and we only do shoot is 27. Well, okay. Right. We don't what really does even mean? My high runs about 14, if that means anything. Well, it means he runs 27 in a row without missing, right? You run yeah. the first 15 out, and then you re-rack 14 balls, and you have to leave a, a break ball in position so that you can re-break the rack. So that's just the tough part is getting through the second rack. Yeah. You have to break them out so you can run all those balls. Yeah, currently um, the highest run in the world right now is from the pro player, Jason Shaw. He got 700. So. 700 in a row? Yeah. Wow. Well, you and I are making, uh, we're, we're in a wrong I can't, get, I can't even get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, now that's interesting. We're going to take a break, guys, here in a minute. But, um, you know, you, I know you're you're in a hurry to get away here, but we'll, we'll keep you till 730 because I have a bunch of other questions and want to figure out, uh, you know, how you're going to make a living on this or wh what your desire is uh, as far as uh, after, you know, high school and whatever. So we'll talk about all of that. We're visiting with Jake Jackson, Jake the Snake Jackson, a uh, pool or billiards aficionado right here on the Home Repair Plank. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Stay with us. New Hampshire. We won almost every single We still have a way to go. The road to the nominee. Far from home. Are you ready? We'll see you on the trail on News Radio. Wham 1180. Hi 
to take a minute and talk to you about geothermal heating and cooling. Now, geo, which, well, that means earth, right, John? And uh, thermal, which means, well, take heat out of the ground or take heat out of the house and put it back in the ground. A geothermal heating and cooling system by ACES Energy can save you up to 75% off your current heating and cooling costs with zero dollars down with their financing options. Now, <laughs> this is a win. If you've ever thought about this, especially if you're building a new house, a geothermal system from ACES Energy is a win. But they can put a geothermal system in any house. There almost isn't a place that they couldn't figure out how to get a geo system up in that house. ACES Energy, 935-7186. Do it all online at aces-energy.com. Who wins podcast of the year? Vote now at 
iHeartPodcastAwards.com. Are you looking for some non-dairy deliciousness? Discover the rich, creamy taste of Planet Oat Oat Milk. Planet Oat Oat Milk is an excellent source of calcium with only 4 grams of sugar or less. Enjoy it in cereal, coffee, smoothies, or by the glass. Pick it up at your local <laughs> grocery store today. Use radio Wabby Lemonade. Now on 96.1 FM. Welcome back to your home repair clinic. Thanks for having me on the home repair clinic radio program, which I know is the uh, most popular home repair show in the nation. Here we go. That's Jake Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Living the dream on the home repair clinic. So what? The, so tell me about the uh, the whole sponsor thing. You need sponsors to pay a hundred grand a year or something to go around the country and win food. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Sponsors. Sponsors really help a lot. Yeah. That kind of stuff. You have current sponsors yet, or? Um, I um, I kind of do. My pool hall, my local pool hall, buys and billiards helps has helped me out. Okay. And um, there's this um Diamond Bar and Grill. He helped he helped us um qualify for that that um tournament in Georgia. Excellent, excellent. Now Welch is filthy rich, right? My radio partner here, so he he's on board with the sponsorship, right, John? <laughs> yeah, I'm complete, I'm so wealthy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I want to ask you, do you ever run across the table that's not level? Oh, all the, all the time. Yeah, all but the time. see, I have a problem keeping mine level. And do you know how to level a full table? Um, it's it's a it's a knack, right? I mean, it's it's. He helped me set up a few full tables. We 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 covered a couple of each other and. <laughs> You know, each individual plate would have to be leveled before the fabric is on. Right. But once it's set up, you can probably yeah. level by the legs. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because mine, every once in a while, mine gets on level, and then I try and level up myself, and I'm, it's just an act of frustration. Right. And you, you don't want, when you hit a ball, you don't want it to travel to the left oh, or right. Oh. right. That drives you nuts, right? Yeah, yeah, especially because sometimes there'll be a tournament, and I'll, be, I'll have to shoot a ball soft. And I'll, and it'll roll on me and it'll get a little frustrated. Yeah, I'll bet it does. You know, it's worse than golf. Golf, at least you know it's unlevel, right? <laughs> but the yeah. pool's supposed to be perfect. So, what is the knack for making a shot and having the cue ball go where you want it for the next shot? Um, That's the key, right? Yeah, it's, it's very important because it, it's almost impossible to not run out if you can't, if you don't have good position play. Right. So do you, 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 you got that whole English and spin and all that other yeah. stuff down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, do you, 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 when you play, you have to call every shot, right? Um, in nine ball, no. Actually, it's a little bit different because if the, in eight ball, for example, if the, if the ball is obvious where the, the opponent's going to know where it's going to go, you don't need to call it. But okay. like if it's the eight ball or something. Or it's a really tough shot, or you don't know what ball is going to be, you have to call it. All right. Now, do you play straight eight ball, too? I mean... Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you have you... Uh, because in, in when I was younger, we used to practice getting the eight ball in on the break. Have you ever you had that happen many times, or no? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you win, right? Yeah. If you put the eight ball in... You know what we're talking about, well, sure, do you have well, any... I, I know... I, I, it makes sense if you put the eight ball in on the break that I can understand what that means. But I don't know what nine ball is. Um, nine ball is the same exact thing, too. You can... If you make the nine in the break, it, it's also a one as well. But, oh, okay. Right. The nine ball is a ball test. We played in order, one through nine. Oh, I see. Do you only have nine balls on the table? Yeah, it's only nine. It's in a, it's in a diamond shape, the rack. Okay. okay. So if you shoot for the ball number one and miss, then the next guy shoots yeah. one, and then he keeps going until or yeah. whatever. Now, are there, any, are there any girls that play in the tournaments? Oh, yeah. He's okay. not, not very many, but you see them sometimes. All right. Cause <laughs> there was eight balls. Remember, no girls. Remember, is, so is eight ball, then all 15 balls, is that it where it's strikes versus solids? Um, there's, yeah, there's, I'm pretty, yeah, there's seven, seven strike balls and there's seven solid balls, so. Before we, uh, close out this fascinating interview, I gotta give you credit, buddy, you're, you're, you got this radio thing down pretty good. Your website is what? Um, it's jakethesnake.com. Jakethesnakejackson.com? Yeah, yeah, jakethesnakejackson.com. Jackson.com. You're on Facebook and whatever and, and all that stuff. So um, so does, does being a pool 
shark, I guess, if you will, is to help you with the girlfriend department or no? <laughs> uh, uh, no time. No, no. <laughs> no time. That's the right answer, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Jackson. Jake the Snake Jackson .com. Check him out. Um, and we'll be following you. You keep us posted on what you're doing, okay? Yep. And we'll uh, we'll have you back again. Roger, it's, it's cool. You got a really nice son there. He Thank seems you. to have a level head on his shoulders. And, and keep us posted because we'd like to have you back and follow your uh, your tournaments. And, and I'm sure there's people listening that love to uh, sponsor you. So we'll take a break for the news and be back on the other side with more. Your home repair clinic. Brace yourself, because the election year...